Friendship Factory and welcome to the 25 day Christmas craft challenge where we challenge you to make a bunch of do-it-yourself gifts for your family and friends this holiday season. It's so awesome to make homemade gifts. People love them and it's a great way to give back to those around you instead of just going to the store. So today I'm going to teach you how to make some peppermint body sugar scrub and this is really an awesome gift and great for the holiday season. It's awesome for the shower or the bath and I love using this. All you need is some sugar, so get out some of your sugar. You'll need some peppermint extract. You'll need a Dixie cup and something to mix this stuff with. You'll need some coconut oil, and then you'll need some tins like this. You can get different jars, different sizes, however big or small you want. And then some red food coloring, or you can get green or whatever other color you'd like. Your first step to making your peppermint sugar scrub is to get your coconut oil out and put about six teaspoons into your Dixie cup and then you're going to melt it in the microwave for about one minute and this will just make it so that it's liquidy and it's easier to mix the sugar in. After you melt your coconut oil, it's going to be very liquidy like this and it should be almost halfway full in the Dixie cup and then you're just going to kind of guesstimate how much sugar to put in here. So you're going to start filling this with sugar and I would say fill it up to here and start mixing it together and it depends on what consistency you want but for sugar scrub you want it to be pretty sugary, you don't want it to be too liquidy but you still want some of that coconut oil to be in there so have it not too dry and not too wet. Next you're just going to add in a few drops of the peppermint extract and you can use any kind of extract that you'd like to use but I like the peppermint extract for the holidays. And then you're going to add in a couple of drops of the red food coloring. Now it depends on how dark you want it, but I want mine to be kind of pinkish. So I'm just going to add in two small drops of the food coloring and it goes a long way, believe me. If you don't want it to look super dark, then just put like one to two drops. And then mix it together. Now you're just going to scoop your sugar scrub into one of your containers and this is pretty good for one of these small containers. So if you're making sugar scrub for bigger jars or containers, all you have to do is up the amount of coconut oil and the amount of sugar and it's pretty easy to figure out. You'll figure out the consistency after making one. So do a trial one and then you can do the rest of them for everyone else. So have some for yourself. And then you can also do layers. If you have like a clear jar, you could do layers. So you could do white sugar and then you could do the red with the food coloring and it'd look really pretty. Now I'm done with my sugar scrub and it came out really nice. It smells so delicious and this is gonna be great for someone to use in the shower or the bath. And what you can do if you have containers like this is you can actually write with Sharpie on this like I did with this one. I put Merry Christmas, I drew a little Santa hat. It looks really cute like this. And then I just wrote on it peppermint sugar scrub. But a really easy way to make a beautiful Christmas tag is to use my image button maker. And you just use that, you can actually make Make something online or you can just use like construction paper red or green and then you can write on it and put it like on the top of it or put a little bow around it and put tags on it like that it would be super cute and you can do any kind of flavoring you want any colors you want it's up to you so this can be something for all year round this is a great gift for birthdays as well so you can customize this any way you like Recently, my best friend and I, we had a bit of a falling out, and girls, you know that that happens so easily with us. We just get emotional and upset about certain things, and it's very easy to happen. But what happened was we had a falling out, and we didn't communicate with one another how we were feeling about a certain subject. And I just want to let you know from firsthand experience, always choose friendship, and don't let anything get in the way of that. Make sure you communicate with one another and talk nicely to one another. Don't do name calling 
stalling and don't talk behind people's backs because it's just not good. It does not feel good when other people do it to you, so do not do that to others. Make sure that if you and your friend aren't getting along, you figure out the real core issue of it and then you sit down and talk with one another. Don't just stop talking forever and never have a fun girls night ever again. That really doesn't work out well for the future. You're going to miss her so much. I just suggest always choosing friendship and always loving one another. Christmas is almost here. Christmas is almost here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun. Woo! Yeah! Christmas is almost here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the craft we made today. If you love crafting as much as we do, make sure you check out all of our Choose Friendship products. And to enter to win the ultimate craft prize valued over $300, just follow this link below. We wish you a very happy holiday season and always choose friendship.